Hello and welcome to the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal. I mean, the first thing, quite a chilly start to the day as well. Got my flask. I'm about to pour my first cup of tea of the day. I'm fishing in about four to five feet of water. I'm on the bottom. I've been feeding initially some brown crumb and a few maggots to get the swim going. Looks like there's nothing in the immediate area anyway because when there is a shoal of fish you drop onto them you start to catch from the off. Can take some time to draw the fish in actually. Let me, let me, uh, let me just bend down because as I speak I had a little dip on the float there. That's a very encouraging sign. Whether it develops or not, I'm not sure it will, but it's good to know that I've got at least one fish out there. <clears throat> As I put the bait in and put the maggots in, then of course, more fish will be attracted. They're starting to move now, although it's a chilly start to the day, as I've said, Nevertheless, the water temperature is now on the increase. Yes, I think this might be developing. It looks like, it must be a gudgeon, gudgeon or a roach, I think, because it's only very minimal at the moment. No, it's all gone. It's all gone quiet. Yeah, let's pull in, shall we? Yeah, no suck maggots, right? get this back out there fishing the boat channel quite a narrow section of the canal here I don't know if you can see from the video you can there the banks are, are cut from the rock on the far side so just wide enough when they built them and dug them out by hand of course to get the the boats down one going that way and one this way and of course back then it would have been incredibly busy. Now, not so much. In the summer, yes, the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal is very busy during the summer months, but come early, come late, and you can generally avoid the bulk of the boat traffic. Right, let's get that cup of tea dr drunk, shall we? And I will be back with a fish. I can't get away from roach, can I? Not that I'm complaining. Of course, not a particularly big fish, but it means that I'm off the mark this morning. Second fish, and it's also a second species as well, the gudgeon. Chiff chaff singing just down there. A sign that, although it's not exactly summer just yet, it's not that far off, is it? tiny little gudgeon there. The first fish that I ever caught as well, also on the Staffordshire Worcestershire Canal many, many years ago. I do go through the setup in the written blog entry, but just quickly, it's a small Shimano reel. It's a Gray's Prodigy float rod, that's 12 feet. I've got a small Drennan waggler there. In fact, almost identical to the setup that I've been using on the pools recently that I've been fishing. The only difference is, because I'm on the canal, it's about four inches away from the hook, I've got a size six anchor shot. And because there is sometimes a, a pull on there, well, when the lock's open, it's like fishing a river in flood, but there's often a pull on there anyway. So the anchor shot, that keeps the bait down on the deck and then the float will just gently go with the direction of the flow and position itself. And I find that's absolutely vital on this particular canal. A nice steady trickle of activity is how I would describe this morning so far. If I did scale down, I've got no doubt that I would be catching more fish like this. However, I am setting my stall out for something bigger. A big perch, to be precise. Whether I'll get one or not, I don't know. 
but I do know that if I go down to a very small hook and a single maggot, I could possibly get a hook pull if I do hook into my favorite fish, and it's a big one, and I don't want to do that. So I'm prepared to sit it out, as it were. I've had lots of roach and gudgeon. My first perch is a tiny one. <laughs>